Hello guys and gals, welcome back to another episode of Anno 1800. We're back here now in Nukatan and we're going for the next stage I think in this episode. So it's already time for that. Let's have a look at our goods here real quick. So we do have... Oh, Wait, let me have a look at a second. We have the cotton fabric here and we should also have enough hand, uh, hunting fur and we do have that. So all we need to do now is start the last production that we need here for our artisans. That is the fur dealer and we're going to have two of them. I think that's enough for now. All we need is a suitable spot for that. Well, and space is, well, going away here now. So I have... I don't have so much space here anymore, it's getting more difficult now with each second or with each building. So what we're doing here is I'm going to destroy some of those normal buildings here that I don't need that much anymore. Plus they don't pay that much taxes. So that's something to keep in mind. And we're going to have two fur dealers here and we also need a warehouse. But let me just have a real quick look here. I could still have another one here. Look at that. So if I want to build this one here, uh, which I'm doing, um, I need a bit more space here. So I think I'm going to get rid of those farmers here as well. And instead have a warehouse here. So that is much better in my opinion than having a few more farmers here. We can just have a few more farmer buildings if we want up here or even here. Yeah, let's have them here so that we have some of them very nice just like that that is looking good so far what i've also done is i've sent my remaining fleet from the new world and that is here to the old world it is a bit problematic as you can see so this ship here is stuck again so that is one of my ship of the lines or man of war as i like to call them uh, man of war is a type of ship that is very heavy very big has lots of cannons usually has three decks, so this has two decks here. Um, a, man, a Man of War is like this size here, I think. And we also have a newspaper edition again. Let's put 10 happiness, 10 income, and 10 consumption minus. Let's say 15 consumption minus. On the newspaper, we do have lots of influence. So what I could do with all that influence that I have, aside from building ships, of course, which I'm also going to do, is I could buy one of those I islands here. Right so, Out if we have a look at this smaller island here of her, that would be 23,000 per share. share. So, that we could actually afford that. We have a lot of money here. Of course, it would drain us a bit, but we could still afford that to some extent. So, I'm thinking about that. And we've also managed to get rid of her in the new world, kind of. Like, she's only got one island here left. It's not even heavily uh, reinforced, so we're going to to take this at some point. Uh, rather sooner than later, I think. So, I think we're pretty golden here on, on the new world right now. And in the old world, well, she still has her fleet. Like those ships now, she just rebuilt. I've got mine here, look at them. They're just for no reasons, I did not order them. Go towards the pirate base, even if I would be... I'm hostile with the pirate now, they would still go there, you know, and get destroyed without me having a say in that. So not the best thing actually. And her fleet is coming now too, she, was, she wants to de uh, defend her frigate there. And I need to be careful here now, real, real careful. Perfect, we've destroyed this one, but I need to get my ships as quickly to the harbor as possible. And look again how fast the enemy ship is even though they don't even have the wind on their side and look at my ships well okay my ships are now totally against the wind so that is this time perhaps it's true but still enemy ships are just way too fast for, in my opinion there's a lot a lot of things that are wrong with the any uh, with the ship behavior like the automatic attack of them and i can't i just can't force them to stay here I think oh well I could I could give them the passive stance I think with the passive stance but I tried this in the campaign so I never touched the passive stance again it doesn't work all the time so even ha if I have the passive stance um, they would still go for an enemy ship if it's close by so it's a bit strange the whole behavior anyway let's not focus on that we have 
Furcoats now in New Catan, so that means yes, we can finally upgrade to engineers. And before we do that, I want to prepare a few other things. First of all, Frigateer Santa Maria, why are you sailing away again? You always have to keep your ships in line here. And there's a quest for us if we could take one. Let's have a look at the quest. A destruction quest, 14,000 and some reputation with him. Let's take it. We have to destroy one gunboat and it's close by as well. So we could do that. So look, and there should still be another ship here on the way. There it is, yeah. So that we have two... That we have our whole fleet here in the old world again. And there is the gunboat... What has happened here? Very interesting. Did this boat here single-handedly -handed, perhaps destroy <laughs> like 10 or 15 ships? Hmm. No one knows. A lot of debris here. Let's just wait. Look at my ships. Let's just wait here. There's one more coming and we should wait for that. And yeah, we should also of course get another ceasefire with the pirates. So we really don't have to pay that much and get a lot of reputation with that. Just perfect. Okay, so everything's looking good here. And we still have to wait for our fleet to gather. In the meantime, we can have a few more, well, brick streets here, paved streets. You're totally right. I neglected that. Um, there are a lot of service buildings here. And with the paved streets, we can increase their influence. So their area of effect. So let's do that as well. Because of course we want to have happy people. And we don't want to have any riots at all. Okay, just a few more paved streets here. That of course means we have to bit we have to wait a bit longer now for the engineers because we're low on bricks then, but we don't need that much brick because I don't intend to upgrade. 10 buildings at once that would totally destroy our need of or our production chains you know our consumption so we definitely only want to have a few of them and another ship my other ship of the line has come now so our fleet is here again we can merge them to one big fleet then um, because I intend to take those islands here by force so for that we need some more ships I've got another clipper here and another ship of the line now here in production and another one here so we've got two more ship of the lines incoming and with that i also get the influence admiral and get a few more influence points attack speed plus five percent for my ships an influence bonus. very nice okay let's upgrade to engineer shall we we also have a harvest festival here right now because we have a happy population we kind of manage that i don't know how well, our artisans look happy. They have rum. They have rum because there's a festival. So, one hand helps the other. And let's upgrade, shall we? And we've reached the age of science and wonders. Our engineers on the hardest difficulty possible. On, in, on extreme. Very nice. Oh, unfortunately, engineers do rum as well. We can't fulfill that. We, we are never going to fulfill that. That's the problem. So that's pretty cool. We have that. And... Why is canned food going down? Look at that. It's going down. But we are full on canned food. Well, perhaps it needs to go down before it goes up. Some strange mechanism here. But that's very nice. We've got engineers. And yeah, well, a cozy little town here. So we don't need that many engineers anyway. We need to un unlock the reinforced concrete. We can also get the spectacles and much more important, we can get the commuter spear. So we can finally build this one here then and then share our workforce here in Yucatan with Bucastle. Oh, not Bucastle, Belrock, of course, because Bu Bucastle is in the new town, uh, new world, of course. But we can finally share it then. So I intend to have a farmer and worker village here. And I intend to have my artisans and engineers and perhaps at some point um, investors. Yeah, we can have investors. We can totally have them. 
and at one point investors here so that we have two major islands two major cities and of course don't forget Villefresh. um this is going to be a city in between another beautiful ship of the line is ready let's send it to this fleet for now and this fleet is going for that gunboat here and we also want to get those things here cargo in the ocean let's send my frigate to it let's see if there's anything useful in there and she's also got a quite a big fleet there actually Those beautiful ships, I love the look of them. That is a character item, Alonso's Tranquilizer. So one of our opponents need a, needs a Tranquilizer. There comes the gunboat. That is rather easy to kill. To destroy. And we have to pick up the item now. Hopefully those things here won't do anything for the, sh uh, the ship. I think it could slow it down, but that's all. And that's a proof of destruction right there. And with that we're going back to uh, the Admiral. And he's going to give us a nice juicy reward. And also some positive reputation. And there's also an enemy ship coming. But it's a clipper, so you won't shoot, uh, shoot back. Doesn't match for now, I want to send my frigate there. And he's not that bad anyway, so he never really harmed her, us, the way uh, Miss Hunt hurt us. So Miss Hunt is the, the true enemy here that we want to destroy. The other ones are kind of okay, I think. So, I don't hold a grudge against them. And our Imperial ship has arrived in Belrock now. So we can start a harbor defense here. Which we desperately need. So, a cannon tower here. They are beautiful. They are really strong. And let's have two of them separated. Like so. Very nice. Two of them. That's very strong very useful in this regard now let's continue on this beautiful island here I really like it perhaps this is even going to be our main island I don't know it has the potential for it for now I just want to have a few more buildings here those farmers very nice and let's have a look at the reinforced concrete what do we need again yeah we need steel and we need limestone quarry do we have that in Yucatan we don't so we definitely need to get cement there and we have two limestone quarries back here in Kaslovich so that is probably going to be our number one destination for that the people celebrate your leadership and we've also reached level 32. Hi. Let's have a look at the goods real quick. So it didn't affect our consumption goods too much. That is good to see. Spectacles and coffee is also going to be a thing here. So we do have the large harbor now. And yeah, we need to start producing uh, concrete. So let's get one of our clippers and have a look at. I need 30 bricks for that. Oh, I need quite a lot, but the one, two, yeah, the clipper should do that. So we need like 
Whoa, look at that. 10 tons of windows. So we need 20 tons of windows. 30 tons of bricks. Let's see, 50 tons of timber. And we also need some, I think we need some steel. Yeah, 12 steel beams. So 24 of them, let's say 30. There's a fire, where is it? In Villefresh, up here. But we can just repair it like that. And we also can turn in the quest. Very nice. Okay. That's all we need here right now. Let's send this ship here back to, well, Golden Hofter, where I've got my hops production. And my fleet should merge soon now. There are my Man of Wars here. And there are my other ships for that. Very nice. Because I want to clear the path to that island here, to my bell rock. I want to clear that here. And she's got her fleet there as well. But most importantly, she's got this um, harbor here. And all the ships on my trade route would pass through that and get destroyed here. So I can't have that. Hmm. I wonder if that is enough though. It looks good, the fleet. Let's have another frigate. And we could also try buying one of those islands, but buying it costs a lot of money and influence. Never forget the influence. 10 influence per share. That's a lot. That's 50 influence that we need just for that. Oh my. Stupid captain. There's nothing else to say to that. Stupid captain. Coming that close to an enemy harbor. His fault. Or my fault, because I thought he was smart enough, but he wasn't. Alright, we need some more bricks. I want to upgrade that harbor here one more step. We can't have engineers here in such a cheap harbor. And, yeah. About the brick streets. Influence looks good, though. Look at that variety theater. Huge influence. I wonder if it's as big as in the sandbox game that we've played. Like, it looks to me like it's bigger, the influence they have now. I don't know. We can definitely have a few more engineers here. Let's, up, let's upgrade those three there. And two more here. Looks good so far. And there's also a quest. Can you take a photograph of us in front of the university, please? My daughter has studied 11 hours a day for five solid years to reach this moment. Sure thing. Let's have a look at my beautiful town. And there's the university where she studied. Another year, graduates. Just like the others, when will this non-news be moved from the front pages to the back where it belongs? Oh, that is nice. And what did we get? Steam turbine. Ooh, that's good. Affects all production buildings. Maintenance cost. Oh, that's a good one. Oh no, maintenance cost plus 75%. But it provides electricity. So we could boost those buildings by 100%. That sounds good. Yeah, now that the rum is gone, look at my balance, it drops quite hard. Especially with such a huge fleet on this difficulty. So we have to do something about that as well. Lucky for us, we got lots of money and lots of men of wars that we can sell, just in case. And the limestone quarry, yeah, it costs 25 workers, perfect. We need two of them, just enough workers here in Kozlovich that we need and the warehouse here and this is the way how we do it got limestone here now too and we can also have let's say the schooner we could send the schooner mermaid's purse on a trade route from Cuttlewich to New Catan loading cement
Very nice. Doing that. And look at that. Those ships now regenerate. So it's got 2163. And if I speed it up, they regenerate on their own. Um, their health. At least they should do it, as far as I know. They're not. And it's loaded with that Alonso's tranquilizer. I wonder if I could get this item here to the harbor of Alonso. But we are at war with each other. Um, diplomacy, let's have a look at that. Could I send him a gift with that? Offer a gift. No, it's just money. I cannot do anything else here. But we could request a ceasefire. That would be possible. Like, ah, 60,000. No, thank you. That's not possible. I'm not paying that much. He's he's way weaker than we are. So that's not an option. Okay, we've got a beautiful fleet here. And with that one, we're going to try to take this island in the next episode. For now, I want to finish this episode with a few more engineers. Because those buildings look amazing. And we also have another man of war and another frigate here. Ready at our disposal. And also reach the city status of capital. Our biggest island here now. Our biggest city. And we have to do something about the tax income for sure. Not looking so good. There's an illness over there. But we should have a hospital here. There it is. Very nice. And with those pictures of a beautiful town, we are going to finish this episode and, well, in the next one we are going to play the Conqueror again and flatter Miss Hunt a bit. See you soon.